Hopefully these guys were mine. I went to go do a moral mushroom walk and found these guys up in a tree just inside the woods. Now I know that one of my hives had uncapped queen cells in it about three days ago. Actually, is this hive right here? But it seems like it's still rocking and rolling. So I was looking to see if I could see the queen. All of my queens are marked, even that one. And uh, I, I couldn't actually see the queen, so I'll have to wait till they get in there. Hopefully, I got her. I'll uh, walk you out here and show you where I actually got these from in just a minute. So I've got a split that I did a couple weeks ago that I had just promoted to this long hive right here last week and I was checking on it and then I started to go over here to go into the woods that sounds like still more bees up in there I've actually shook this limb three times already so uh Right there's where I got them from. Still a few bees there. Had to grab a ladder. Had to grab a nuke box. Climb up on the ladder. I'm actually going to climb up here and make sure that queen's not in here. I don't think she is. But they're still all over that branch right there. Which isn't uncommon. Probably what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll shake this limb here. Grab the rest of those bees and put in that long hive for some more workers. They look smaller than my bees. I don't think they're my bees. These look like Italians. I don't have Italians. I don't actually like Italians, to be honest with you. Anyways, I'll give them a few minutes to settle down. They still think the queen's right there. I don't think she is because the, the ones I shook out the first time, second time, and third time, <laughs> they're fanning the front of that hive like the queen's in there. But uh, what's happened is they still have the pheromones of that queen over there on that branch. So I'll probably give that about an hour to settle down and uh, shake it again. But yeah, I don't think that was my, my bees. You saw how small they were. And it's really easy if we go back here and look at this hive right next to it that I suspect is going to swarm. I couldn't really do anything with that hive that had the uncapped queen cells and i'll tell you why i couldn't actually find the queen so it's possible she got squashed there wasn't any eggs all there was was larva which means it was at least four days since the last time she was in there now she could have got squashed she could have swarmed already all kinds of things could have happened but there was 11 queen cells I pulled nine of them and put them into another hive. Well, down here like this, they look about the same. You can see that box right there is about cleaned out. Well, it's starting to get cleaned out. They're moving into this hive. See how they're fanning the front of that? That kind of tells me the queen is likely in here. Cause that's what they're doing they're saying hey we're over here and uh looks like the bees are starting to move out of this box into there i've got 10 undrawn frames of comb in there I always use undrawn comb on swarms because they build out comb so quickly. I actually had to pull comb out of this hive, out of these nukes that I was going to be using for splits because they all have one frame of partially drawn comb 
and two frames of undrawn cones there's two four six eight ten you see there's ten sitting there or two four five nukes plus this nuke would have actually been 12 undrawn frames but i put all 10 frames in this hive which wasn't being used it was actually that saskatraz is dead out and uh I had actually come out here to put a snow grove board on this hive because what happened was on the 16th of April, I was going to do a snow grove board on this to kind of keep them from swarming because I knew they were getting packed in there. I actually had my hands on the queen. So I saw the queen on the 16th and I got paged into work and had to release the queen. I was getting ready to cage her. I had a cage set up, ready to go. Snow grove board still laying over there. <laughs> and uh so anyways what happened was the weather turned bad the 17th 18th and 19th i come out here on the 20th i couldn't find the queen couldn't find any eggs and a crap load of queen cells so i left two queen cells in this i took several frames of the uh bees out and put them in that front lang hive along with some capped uh brood Three frames of cap brood to kind of give that lang hive a head start on some cold weather that's coming up and uh, I put nine of the queen cells in another queen rearing hive I've got it at another location I don't have it anywhere near where most of my beehives are at um, yeah so I basically cut the queen cells out left two queen cells in there the two that looked really good left them in there and trying to make the best of the situation but I don't know where this swarm come from I swear it they could be my bees who knows we'll know once they get settled down anyways thanks for watching we're seven minutes in I just wanted to give you an update wasn't planning on doing a swarm capture today but that's kind of how it works when you got bees you never know when they're gonna show up and uh, at least it was relatively easy to get to an eight foot ladder I could almost touch them so pretty low swarm Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm going to go back around and check on these other ones. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. And by the way, look, these bees are just, swarms are always calm. I only put this jacket on. I actually did get stung once when the first time I shook them. But uh, I put this jacket on mostly just to protect me because the last, I've had swarms fall on my face. All kinds of stuff. Shaking them out of trees. But anyways, I'll let these calm down and come back and check on them in a couple hours and I'll go ahead and get the rest of those bees up there or at least some of them and uh, move that into that long lang box because they need all the help they can get. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.